What's cracking YouTube family? It's your big homie Wayne and today I'm about to hit y'all off with another one of these reaction videos. Alright, so this one right here is going to be another comedy selection. Uh, this one right here is coming up from uh, Bill Hicks and the name of this one is uh, the JFK assassination. Let's get into it. Kennedy. I love talking about the Kennedy assassination because to me it's a great example of uh, a totalitarian government's ability to, you know, manage information and thus keep us in the dark any way they do. Oh, sorry, wrong meeting. Uh, <laughs> shit. That's the meeting we're having tomorrow at the docks. I love talking about Kennedy. I was just down in Dallas, Texas. You know, you can go down there and uh, to Dealey Plaza where Kennedy was assassinated. And you can actually go to the sixth floor of the school book depository. It's a museum called the Assassination Museum. I think name that after the assassination. I can't be too sure of the chronology here, but anyway, they have the window set up to look exactly like it did on that day. And it's really accurate, you know? Because Oswald's not in it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so. Painstaking accuracy, you know. It's true, it's called a sniper's nest. It's glassed in, it's got the boxes sitting there, and you can't actually get to the window itself. And the reason they did that, of course, they didn't want thousands of American tourists getting there each year going. No fucking way! I can't even see the road! <laughs> Shit, they're lying to us! <laughs> Oswald was hanging by his toes upside down from the ledge. Either that or some pigeons grabbed onto him, flew him over the motorcade. Surely someone would have seen that. You know, there was rumors of anti-Castro pigeons seen drinking in bars. Someone overheard them saying, coo, coo, coo. Unbelievable. And you know what's wild is people's uh, attitudes in the States about it. Talking about Kennedy, people come up to me, Bill, quit talking about Kennedy, man. Let it go. It's a long time ago. Just forget about it. I'm like, all right, then don't bring up Jesus for me. <laughs> as long as we're talking shelf life here. Bill, you know, Jesus died for you. Yeah, it was a long time ago. Forget about it. <laughs> How about this? Get Pilate to release the fucking files. <laughs> Quit washing your hands, Pilate, and release the goddamn files. Who else was on that grassy Golgotha that day? Bill, it was just, you know, Taking over a democracy by totalitarian government. Let it go. <sighs> okay. Sorry. Back into the left. Back into the left. Back into the left. Back into the left. Which, by the way, that action you see Kennedy's head do on the Zabruder film, caused by a bullet. Coming from up there. <laughs> yeah. I know it looks to the layman or someone who might dabble in physics. <laughs> this action here would have been caused by a bullet coming from, well, Here, did you see that? Did everyone see that? Yeah, but no. What happened was 
Oswald's gun went off, causing an echo to echo through the buildings of Dealey Plaza. And the echo went by the limo on the left, up into the grassy knoll, hitting some leaves, causing dust to fly out, which 56 witnesses testified was a gunshot, because immediately Kennedy's head went over. But the reason his head went over is because the echo went by the motorcade on the left, and he went, what was that? <laughs> So there, we have figured it out. Go back to bed, America. Your government has figured out how it all transpired. Go back to bed, America. Your government is in control again. Here, here's American gladiators. Watch this, shut up. Go back to bed, America. Here is American gladiators. Here is 56 channels of it. Watch these pituary retards bang their fucking skulls together <laughs> and congratulate you on living in the land of freedom. Here you go, America. You are free to do as we tell you. You are free to do as we tell you. Oh, good. Honey, I heard on the news that they figured out that the gun, what happened is that there is an echo and that Kennedy was uh, asking uh, Jackie what it was and that's why his head flew up. Honey, what time's Gladiator's on? Are we missing it? <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad we're free, honey. All right, everyone. Here we got it, man. Bill Hicks on the JFK assassination. Now, I mean, hey, it's very speculative uh, what happened with John F. Kennedy. I think some stuff got released not too long ago that kind of said that it was, you know. Well, maybe that was Martin Luther King when he said it was some, some government people had something to do with his assassination. But, I mean, come on. You. Think about what was going on at that time. I mean, who knows? It's all type of rumors and all type of speculations about what's going on with JFK. But, you know, Bill Hicks had a really good, uh, he had a pretty good perspective about it as well. Especially because of, like he said, the motion from where the shot came from. And he went to the assassination museum. I'm sure they they have the, the mark in the street where, you know, in Dallas on that street, whatever it's on, uh, they have a mark. They have a mark in the street where uh, JFK was shot at. So he could probably see that mark from that museum that he was in. And, you know, he building his own conclusion from that, you know. Um, but, I mean, at the end of the video, I asked, you know, what do you think? You know what I'm saying? So jump down in the comments and let us know what do you think about the JFK assassination? What do you think about what Bill Hicks had to say about it? You know, do you think that it was some screwy stuff going on with it? Or, hey, do you think it went down the way it was said that it went down? Um, of course, we'll never know. I'm sure all those files are all locked away. It'll be probably held to speculation for a while, but what do you guys think? Leave in the comments and let us know. Also, if you haven't done so already, go ahead and give this video a huge thumbs up. Does lots for exposure for the channel. More people see the video just like you did. Let's go ahead and give it a huge thumbs up. And if you're new around here or if you've been here before, you still have not became a member of the family. Why not? What are you waiting on, huh? Hit the subscribe button. Become a member of the family and make sure you ring the notification bell so you can always know when we're dropping videos off over here. All right, so I'm about to get up out of here, man. Thank you guys for the continued support. Thank you guys for continuing to tap in with us and check out the videos. It's much appreciated. But as always, peace.